So to do the sunburst plot with Python, we'll use the Plotly library. Plotly is a very powerful tool that helps us to do interactive and very nice plots. To know more about Plotly, I encourage you to visit the, the Plotly website. Here you can find all the plots and graphs that you can do with Plotly. So to start our code, we'll import at first the Plotly library. So import plotly.express as px. Also we need the pandas library, so we'll import pandas as pd. I already prepared uh, a data set with COVID-19 data, so to import it we will use the read function of pandas. To see the first 10 rows of the data frame, we'll use the hat function. As we see here, we have uh, at first the word variable, which contains all the total case in the word. The second variable is the continent variable. We have also country, total cases, total death, and also we have additional variables as total test and total recovery and to do the sunburst plot we'll use the sunburst function px.sunburst and the first argument is the data set df the second argument is the path argument in this argument we should we should define all the levels in the sunburst plot so the first level is the word level. The second level is the continent level. And the third is the country level. And our third argument is the value argument. This is very important argument and in our case it is the total cases so like we see here we have uh, our basic uh, sunburst plot if you want to make it bigger we will add uh, width and height arguments so we we'll take width equal 1000 and height equal 8000. As we see in the plot, the countries that have the, the biggest proportion of the plot are USA, Spain, Italy. They have the most cases in, in the world. And now if we want to add a new information to our, our plot, which is the total death, uh, we can do it with the color argument. So here we, we can, will add color equal total death. And as we see, the total deaths are between 0 and 18,000 in the world. With yellow color are the countries that have the biggest number of cases like Italy, Spain, USA and in purple the countries that have the smallest number of cases. If you want to change the palette color of your plot you can do it with the color continuous scale argument. And here we'll give it a value as RDBU. You, you can see here that the colors are between blue and red. If you want to reverse the colors, you can do it by adding to RDBU underscore R. And here we can see we have a nicer plot where colors are between red and blue. Red 
with the countries that have the most number of deaths and uh, if you want to see all the options and values to the colors you can do it by visiting the plotly site here you can see all options and uh, everything that you can use to customize your plot when you pass your mouse over a country you can see all the information that we have uh, which are uh, the total cases, total death, the name of the country and the name of the continent if, if you'd like to add a new information you can do it with the hover data argument so here we can we will add the hover data and uh, we want to add the total test variable And as we see here, we have the new information total test. And if you want to add a new information also, you can pass it in this list. So here, it will uh, pass the total recovery variable. And here we are, we have all the information that we want.